everybody. This is Annie with Soap Allure, and I told you I was going to do um, a tutorial on how to make the soap bubbles. I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, melt and pour, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with glycerin, uh, so you can have fun with the kids, and, and it's not as, as dangerous. So, um, well, the glycerin is a lot less dangerous. In fact, I wouldn't even consider it dangerous, but here's what you're going to need. Uh, for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to use one square of clear glycerin melt and pour. Uh, little, you want little balloons, you can get those at the dollar store. A fragrance, a color if you want it. Um, I use color for melt and pour. Uh, gloves, um, clothesline pins is what I use. You can use whatever you want, but you definitely don't want to do this with your fingers. And of course some kind of eye protective wear. I use my glasses and they do just fine. And I use my Pyrex soap cup that I only use it for soap. And that's what we're going to be melting the melt and pour with. Now at this point I'm going to go melt my melt and pour according to the manufacturer's directions and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my melting pour done, and you can see it in there, and it's almost even setting up and getting a film on the top. I'm going to add a uh, yellow color, and this color I got at Hobby Lobby, and uh, it's soap colorants for um, melting pour. Also, if you're going to use a uh, colorant, you might want to get a little stick so you can stir it. I'll put all these supply lists on, you know, down below with the written instructions and uh, so now we're going to have yellow soap balls. I'm not going to put any in, uh, fragrance in this just because this is a tutorial and um, but you can put fragrance in it at this time if you want to and uh, now I'm going to blow my balloons up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay I wanted to show you the size of the balloons. You can do this is about the size that I like. It's small, medium, and large. I don't like to go beyond this size because if you get them too big that would be for a special project like if you're going to do a snowball or something like that maybe for Christmas. So these are the sizes that I blew these particular one, uh, one uh, balloons and uh, so now I'm going to show you um, how to uh, make your bubbles. Okay, I'm back, and I reheated my mixture, and you can see it swishing around in there. I'm going to have a bowl here. I hope y'all can see this, because my camera's kind of giving me fits. And I'm going to take my um, clothespin, let me move this so you can see what I'm doing, and I, with my gloves on, you must wear gloves with this. This is very hot. You take it and dip your balloon in the mixture and roll it around. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing through the glass. And you just keep doing that and as it builds on to the balloon, um, you know, it will uh, get thicker. And it will also make your bubble bigger. So be aware of that. If you don't want really big bubbles, um, you know, don't dip so much. So, um, you just keep dipping. And this this is going to get this soap in the in the cup here. The glass is going to get hard very quickly. So, you may have to reheat this several times in between making your bubbles. That's that's kind of the thing I I don't necessarily like about it. And. Uh, but it's necessary, necessary evil. <laughs> if that's the way you want to look at it. But um, okay, now I, I have gotten this, and I roll it. You need to roll it um, because it keeps it distributed evenly um, while it's hardening on the balloon. Now, the reason why you want to wear safety goggles when you do this, and you want to wear gloves, and I'm wearing an apron is because I have, and it hasn't happened much, 
but a couple of times my I have didn't think about it and I put my balloon in and it popped from the heat and of course what happens it splatters and it's hot that's why you don't want to use the soap method when you're doing it with your kids because that's the danger part in it and, uh, and you'll see the difference between that and uh, the jello product it's a lot easier okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my bowl just drop it drop there you go and I'm going to let that air dry now as you as it air dries I don't know if you can see this I hope you can the, the it's already separating away from the bubble as the bubble air dries and then eventually probably in about 10 minutes when it's completely dry I'll take a small uh, scissors or a pen and pop it and of course it'll come right out and there you're going to have your bubble so let me do a couple of more here and show you the process a couple of more times and then we'll pop it pull it out and you'll see what the bubbles look like when you when you also put your um, your clothespin on your bubble do it down beyond where you've tied it off because it will help take away that little part right there and uh, you can also when you put your when you uh, roll it in your um, solution you can actually the first two or three times take your finger and just pat that part and it will go flat so let's see if I can do this or if I'm gonna have to remelt my I think I'm gonna have to remelt it so I'm gonna remelt it I'll be right back and we'll I'll show you two more times